let's graph uh, this equation y is equal to x squared minus 6x okay so whenever you have a second degree polynomial this the squared tells me that this is this graph is a graph of a parabola okay now in a parabola so let me give you the uh, key features of the parabola suppose if this is a parabola so say this is any parabola okay now this is called let me use a different color so but this is called the x-intercept say this is one x x1 says this is one intercept so there are different uh, uh, the expression for x-intercept so this is x-intercept uh, or this is also called roots uh, in some books these are also called zeros so these are three different expression for the same thing so these all mean where your parabola is intersecting the x-axis so this is your x-axis and this is your y-axis so this is called the y-intercept okay so this is a y-intercept and the most crucial crucial is the vertex okay so this is called the vertex this is called vertex or turning point so that this is called vertex i'll write in short tp turning point and in this specific case it's also called minimum so these are some terminologies you should minimum okay so this is minimum vertex or the turning point okay now whenever you're graphing a parabola these are the three important points uh, or the, th these are the three different types of points that they're looking for so first is let us factorize this so y what can you factor out here i can factor out an x so it'll be x minus six okay so yeah so you can get x intercept you get the x intercept by putting y is equal to zero so x intercept this is where your y when your y value will become zero so for this if you write the coordinate of this this can be x1 comma zero and this if you want to write as a coordinate this is nothing but x2 comma zero so in for the x intercept the y value or the the y becomes zero okay <clears throat> so if you put zero can i say zero is equal to x times x minus six okay therefore the same thing can be written as x times x minus six is equal to zero so now you have to use your logic or you use your reasoning now you have to ask your, yourself when would this expression become zero so well i can say this becomes zero when x is zero that means zero times anything becomes zero or x is equal to six y six because six minus six is zero so this bracket will become zero so you can say zero times minus six when x is zero this will become zero times minus six which is zero and when x is six you can say uh, this uh, six times zero is zero so the x intercepts are so writing in a coordinate form so you can say the x intercepts are zero zero and six zero the x intercepts are zero zero and six zero now y intercept so let me show it use a different color so y intercept is when x is zero so this is your y intercept so this y intercept can also be written as zero comma y in general form so y intercept is when x is equal to zero okay so if you put x is equal to zero what will happen y is equal to zero times zero minus six which is zero times negative six which is zero so y intercept is also zero zero so can you see the x intercept and y intercept are the same so in other words your vertex sorry 
the origin is the x and the y intercept okay so you can say now the vertex for vertex there is a formula the very powerful formula or in other words the x intercept is halfway between the sorry vertex is halfway between the x intercept so what is halfway between the x intercept so that's 3 okay so you can say xv or the value of x value of the vertex is 0 plus 6 divided by 2 which is 6 divided by 2 which is 3 so this is x value of your vertex so your yv or the y value of the vertex is by putting this back into the equation so the equation is x times x minus 6 so xv or yv would become 3 times 3 minus 6 which is 3 times minus 3 which is minus 9 so your vertex as a coordinate is 3 comma negative 9 I'll draw only a rough sketch of so these are the so let me highlight or let me use a green color so this is your these are your x intercepts okay this is your y intercept and this is your vertex okay so let me draw a rough sketch of that uh, so this is oops i wanted a line so this is your x y axis this is your x axis so a rough sketch your vertex uh, is your x intercepts are 0 0 and 6 0 so this is 0 0 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay uh, so let me use a different color so this is 0 0 and 6 0 okay your vertex is your y intercept is 0 0 and your vertex is 3 comma negative 9 so this is minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 I had to screw uh, uh, oops. Mm, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, minus 7, minus 8, minus 9. So, your vertex is 3 comma, so this is 3 comma, this is 3 comma negative 9. So, let me use the line of symmetry. So, this is a line of symmetry. This is your line of symmetry. So, uh, your this is use a different color here. Yeah? So this is this is minus nine, okay, and this is three. So the point would come here. Okay, so your graph would look somewhat like this. So this is this is your x-intercept. These are your x-intercept. This is also your y-intercept, and this is your vertex so if you want to draw the, the graph the graph would look somewhat like this okay and this is your axis of symmetry okay see you in the next video